Okay guys, here I'm going to talk about how to fix the problem with the K-series strut bolt so you don't ruin if you have if you have aftermarket, you know, struts. I don't rec recommend drilling them because you're going to end up invalidating the warranty. So what you do is I found a trick is this nut right here is tack welded. Like I cut it off, but I didn't need to do that. There's there's no need for it. Um, you can see I took a grinder right here, but you don't need to do that. This this thing right here is, I don't know, somehow tack welded in three spots. And it's not on there very strong. So what you do is you just thread it a little bit so you have a gap here. You could even put this in a vise or even put some vise grips around here so you don't. So Because what you're going to do is, is you're going to hammer this right here and break this off and it breaks off pretty easy you don't need to hit it very hard but you don't want to bend this at the same time that's why I tapped it lightly you don't have to put this in a vise or even clamp it I didn't have to I just tapped it so what you do is you tap it boom this right here will come off it's just tack welded on I'll show you uh, see right there just three little spots yep. and then all I did right here was just clean up so that when I put my washer or my nut on here that it lays completely flat so it's flush and you're just gonna discard this stuff because you're, you're not gonna need it and then since I got an ex I got these at the wrecking yard I kept all the bolts that went in here so I have an extra one of these on my RSX so um, originally it came out of here but these are exact these are the same like these are these are the same bolts actually like so you're gonna have extra one on the RSX so what you do is you just find a nut and one of these or you can go to the wrecking yard and see this nut right here I'll probably do this because I'm going to the wrecking yard next week is you just do that you just do the same thing here because it's, it's tack welded you can just put this on here thread it and then tap it with a hammer this nut will come off um, this would be a part the trailing arm off the wrecking yard one and then you just hammer this bust this nut off and then just swap it over here on this side I'm just showing you this because I have an extra an extra nut here but this will take care of the solution and then I'm going to use a washer here oh, it's harder to do one handed here, let me try this again. It's hard to do one-handed. And then you can just thread the, the nut on here. And then the other nut, the other nut honestly is meant for this, so I would try to get this if you can get an extra one. If not, you'll be fine. If you can find a spare nut, like I got a bucket of bolts, so it doesn't. It doesn't make a difference, but that's all. That's all you do. The only difference, I mean, there's differences in the width right here. That's why you use the CRV trailing arm. There's slight, very slight differences, but they make a difference. You don't want the element or a trailing arm because it, it sits lower. CRV one's fine, but yeah, once you have this on here, I've already bolted it up. I don't have. I'm gonna have a ratchet, but I can't do it because I don't have two hands. Um, this is the this is the size you're gonna need for the EM2 and RSX. And that's basically the fix for it. I thought it was going to be a lot more complicated. I tried grinding it and all that. You don't have to do that. Just boom, tap it, and it pops right off. And that's all there is to it. This fixes it. Alright, thanks for watching.